What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Trinity back for another post-spring practice player update. Today, we're gonna to be talking about tight end, third-year player, Jaleel Billingsley. Before we get into this video, guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Go to BamaInsider.com. Give our writers some love. We appreciate everything you do. Jaleel Billingsley is originally from Chicago, Illinois, where he attended Phillips Academy. He was the number five tight end prospect in the country and the third ranked player from the state of Illinois by Rivals.com. He led his high school Phillips Academy to the Class 5A state championship his junior season, played a lot of sports. He was a basketball player, had a little baseball on the side as well, really dominated at everything he did in high school. Why is that? Well, you're seeing it right there, his size. I mean, just look at the way he gets in that slot, guys, and is able to dominate his defenders. The dude was a monster in high school, and Bama fans knew coming into the program he was going to be a big-time athlete. I mean, guys, he was the first player signed by Alabama from the state of Illinois since 1997. He had offers from Auburn, Florida, LSU, Michigan, and Ohio State, but decided to come down south and join the Crimson Tide for the 2019 season. Now his freshman year, back in 2019, he only played in nine games, but really added a lot of depth to that tight end group. He learned the playbook. As you guys may remember, Major Tennyson was the starting tight end at that point. A very smart guy, Major. Really taught Jaleel a lot in his time at Bama. That season, Billingsley made his first catch against Mississippi State and really just started taking things in and figuring out how he could make an impact in the future. That future started in 2020, a year that Jaleel Billingsley really took the Alabama fan base by storm, myself included. He made 18 catches that season, and listen to this number, 14 of those 18 catches went for a first down or for a touchdown. He had 287 total yards of offense, and all of this really started to come on as the season continued. Later on in the season, you know, we didn't really see it right out of the gate. 17 of those 18 catches came in the final nine games, 274 of those 287 yards there in the final nine games. He had five kickoff returns throughout the season, really just added so much presence all over the field. You think about the way he blocked and was able to just kind of get in the slot sometimes, act as a receiver and act as a big body tight end as well. He was named the Offensive Player of the Week this past season against Kentucky, and like I said guys, made his impact throughout the year. You talk about a scouting report on Jaleel Billingsley, you have to start with his speed as a big man. And before I really get into this scouting report, you know, you, you have to think about the new age tight end. If you guys play fantasy football, you might understand that getting a big athletic tight end is kind of the way to go nowadays. You think of a George Kittle or maybe a Travis Kelsey, a tight end with really good hands that almost acts as a receiver. On the college football side of things, having a tight end like that is a huge advantage as well. You look at Florida, having a guy like Kyle Pitts that can act as a receiver, that can block unbelievably, that can use his size to leverage defenders, that is huge. The first point on here is big man speed, and Jaleel Billingsley is quick, but he uses his size to leverage that speed, which is so important in today's game. Second point, his durable playmaking ability. You're not gonna bring Jaleel Billingsley down the first time you make contact with him. You talk about that first down stat from last year, that's really what sets it up, his ability to nudge forward, maybe extend his arms, whatever it takes, putting himself in position to keep the play going. The third point I wanna highlight, he's a very steady blocker. Now tight end traditionally, it's not all about catching the football. As in, in the last decade, even further back than that, we've seen the tight end kind of turn into a hybrid receiver, and especially in today's game, like I just talked about, that's what we're starting to see a lot of. But his blocking abilities are still elite. I mean, Jaleel Billingsley creates a mental warfare for the defense with the way that he's able to block and serve as an extra offensive lineman, but at the same time, his ability to get out and catch passes and just be an overall presence on the field. The final point, he has a loose lower half. You guys are probably sitting there thinking, what does that even mean, a loose lower half? It means he has flexible ankles, which allow for really quick acceleration, giving him the ability to run excellent routes. This dude is an awesome route runner and really can get up to speed pretty fast. It starts with the lower half and really nice ankles on Jaleel Billingsley. 2020 was the coming on to the scene year for Billingsley and 2021 is gonna be the year where he really takes the country by storm. This could be your next Kyle Pitts. We're not even gonna limit him to 
one college player that just had a great year. Who knows what is in store for Jaleel Billingsley in 2021. He's going to be a leader. We talk about these receivers a lot. It is a young receiving core. Jaleel Billingsley is going to help them as well. He will be on the field nearly every play this year, barring any kind of injury or anything crazy happening. Jaleel Billingsley will be a key piece of this offense. This is a guy we've had a lot of fun following and a guy that's only continuing to get better. Where 2021 will take him, that we will have to see. For more information on Jaleel Billingsley and the rest of this Alabama Crimson Tide 2021 team, check out the rest of our YouTube page for more spring post-practice updates like this, recruiting videos from Andrew Bone, and all things Alabama Crimson Tide football. Hit that like button and subscribe for me one more time before we get out of here. Jaleel Billingsley is the next big thing when it comes to tight end in college football. And in 2021, he looks to follow up a great sophomore year with an even better junior season. For BamaInsider.com, my name is Trey Yanity. This has been a post-spring player update on tight end Jaleel Billingsley.